What is happening guys? Staff Sergeant Massey here, aka R Chisel. If you are brand new on this channel, an OG subscriber, please hit that thumbs up. It helps the channel grow. We're cranking up the videos again. Subscribe so you always get notified when there's a brand new one. And we're gonna be popping out a lot more in the next few weeks. I'm really excited, I miss doing this. But for today's video, we're gonna be talking about what is the right combat boots. What is the right boots? footwear what do we wear in the military whenever we are at work this kind of pertains to active duty reserve guard whatever it may be if you are prior service currently in about to enlist if you go hunting or anything related to that pretty much you need to find the right pair of boots it's kind of like my review of a brand that i want you guys to know i'm going to introduce a brand new military combat boots namely the hikes combat hero and pretty much I'm gonna try to assess and try to give a good review on how these stand up. I've been in the army nine years, going on 10 years, active duty, army, six day of whiskey, army medic, and pretty much I just converted as a recruiter for those of you guys who haven't seen the latest video prior to this. So if you're in the Bay Area, San Francisco Bay Area, California, East Bay, I'm your guy. If you need help, all of my information, phone number, email is posted down below. All right guys, so pretty much combat boots, your boots that you wear all the time with your battle dress uniform with your OCPs, ACUs, whatever it may be, your camis, you wear military grade boots. So the whole time I've been in the army, obviously I did ruck marches, I've been into the field so many times. I had situations where I had to wear the most pristine boots because it's inspection day and stuff like that. But to basically summarize what we're gonna review here, we're gonna look at three important things that you should consider if you are finally able to purchase something or you just wanna test out a brand new brand of combat boots and something that I would recommend. So check this out, comfort, price and the task that you're about to do these are my top three things that you should look for if you're trying to figure out what's the right combat boots for you exhibit a okay so if you are not familiar with this combat boot this is the rocky as you can see this is coyote brown because the army switched to the ocps i've been wearing this for quite some time it's a little bit dirty Obviously, I have to like take care of it and probably clean it or probably just purchase a new one because it's going to get beaten up every day. But for my daily work or daily use, I don't really do a lot of work in the motor pool anymore. I don't do a lot of work in the field or ruck that much. This is pretty much my office boots. So obviously, it can be better, but pretty much overall, this has been the brand that I've been using for the most part. A lot of people recommend the Rockies or rocky because it's really stylish in a sense and once you're finally out of training initial entry training iet basic training ait and whatnot a lot of brand new privates tend to purchase this first i've had this for the longest so i highly recommend it but price point can be really expensive this is in the higher 200s depending on the brand i guess depending on the sizing and depending on where you buy it you might be able to snag a discount okay for those of you guys that don't know how much a pair of combat boots cost like it's the same price, pretty much the same price. Sometimes it's more expensive than your regular sneakers. As you can see, we got Yeezys, the brand new Yeezys. We got OG High Ones, the Royal Blue, and the shadows right there, bam, bam. Pretty much I'm a sneaker head, so I understand that if you're dropping money, if you want a pair of better footwear, you gotta make sure you do review because these things, is kind of like purchasing this so footwear is really important for me so going back to the main topic okay comfort you are going to be wearing this every single day and when i say every day if you're in the operational army you're going to be wearing this pretty much from 0 900 to at least 1700 so that's 9 a.m to 5 p.m so what i do is i use insoles insoles like this help me out on a daily basis because oh damn this is really old and you can see that Whoa. Some brands tend to be really stiff. So if you're really trying to purchase a different brand of boots, I recommend trying it out first, walking around the store or asking people that you know that had experience with boots. For boots like this, you need break in time. It depends on the brand. I've had Nikes before the first gen, the tan ones. Those are like pretty much sneakers, but they are compliant with the uniform back then with the ACUs 
in the army. Comfort is number one because you're gonna be wearing your boots every day and if you're not comfortable about it, pick something that you know that you can wear and be on your feet for almost the whole day. Another one obviously is the pricing. So as you can see, hikes, combat boots, it's priced at 215. If you actually check out the link down below, there is also a discount, you know, if you try to sign up and follow the instructions, you can snag this at a lower price and very cheap shipping. Straight off the bat, it's a little different. I like the lacing system. I feel like this part will crease later on like any other combat boots that I've had. It, it is meant to be, it is what it is because it is work boots. The only thing that I recommend is if you are finally gonna purchase a brand new pair of boots, get some protector or as much as possible, try to maintain and clean them on a regular basis. This back tab over here, it's a little bit different. So I don't know how this is gonna look if I have my OCP bottoms either tucked in the boot itself and use that string to make sure that it's all covered and all of that. So we'll see how it is. This video, by the way, is more of just like giving you instructions and giving you like opinions and advice on what kind of pair of boots, but we will definitely use this later on for a follow-up review when I'm actually gonna wear it for like a whole week and give you a full feedback on what I think about these. Price really matters because you're buying it, okay? So if you wanna get the bang out of your buck, do your research and try not to spend like 300 or $400 for a pair of boots because it's not necessary, okay? Unless you got money like that to blow or spend on anything, I suggest yes, but rough times right now, so kind of save your money, okay guys? Lastly, task. What are you gonna be using these pair of boots for, okay? So I'm gonna show you another set of boots. So obviously these are older boots. These are the boots that I've used for like ruck marching, training as a six day whiskey. I know the camera doesn't really do justice, but there's like a fake blood um, stain. It's not real blood, it's fake blood uh, from Moulage. This one I've rucked in it so many times. Uh, they're pretty reliable. The brand on these ones are McCray Footwear. I believe this is this is the one that they issue you or the cheapest one that you can find in your regular PX or BX or whatever exchange that you go to. See, I haven't used it in a while. There's like dust and stuff all over it. So it depends on what you're gonna be doing, okay? So if you're gonna be working in the motor pool, if you're gonna be working in the bay, in the mechanic bay, if you're gonna go to the field and do some ruck marching, I recommend that you have to have a pair that's strictly for work and a pair that's strictly for presentations or try to look good, especially in my job right now as a recruiter. I gotta be clean all the time. Gotta look spiffy, I gotta look sharp. And you always gotta have a pair of those boots that's strictly for inspection, especially on Mondays, okay? So that's pretty much it. Like, share, subscribe to the video, hit it down below if you wanna support our chisel and helps the channel grow and open to brand new ideas, but I'm definitely gonna wait it out. I'm gonna start wearing this for at least a week, two, maybe a whole month, and give you guys a follow-up review on how it is. But just looking at it aesthetically, it looks pretty awesome. This is a different type of material right here. This is pretty much the same thing that you use or a lot of the footwear companies use, pretty much the base part of it. The sole looks like it's awesome. Uh, it's durable, self cleaning and all of that. So yeah, we'll put it to the test really soon and give you guys a follow up. If you like this video, like what I said, support your boy, our chisel, work with our chisel down below in the East Bay area. That is it for today, our chisel out.